Hey everyone, welcome back to Self to Self. My name is Him. That's Nick. And today we're going to be playing a quiz. This is part one of a three part series, but we're going to be doing gene therapy, something we haven't done too much on this channel. But since it's a pretty big part of regenerative medicine, you know, genes are like the underlying um, code that make everything work in our bodies. So what we'll be doing is taking this quiz, gene therapy, multiple choice. There's three levels. And Nick, how are you today? I'm good, Hima. I'm good. Yeah, we just wanted to take this quiz. You know, the last three, four episodes, Heem, in my opinion, have been very heavy in what I would say. And, you know, before we took our break in the summer, we were doing, you know, Trivia Tuesdays where we would take a quiz and then have like a nice content uh, episode on Friday. And we've kind of lost that. So we just kind of wanted to bring back just a nice little easy 10 question quiz that he and I can go through and talk through. We're not competing against each other. We're going to work together. And uh, yeah, we're going to take the basic one. And then, you know, later on this um, channel, you might see the intermediate and advanced. If you're here, we appreciate you. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe, comment us questions, email, anything. Like we are really looking forward to hearing from you guys if you have any questions. Um, if you have any collaborations, you want to come in and talk, we, we would love to hear it. Um, but yeah, go check out all of our videos. Keep watching. We appreciate you. And yeah, let's go ahead and start the basic quiz. Okay, he ready? Yeah. Which All process right, so, is used to insert normal genes into human cells to correct disorders? I think that one's pretty I, straightforward. I think it's A. Yeah, gene therapy. Yeah, I'm I, down. Think, I think that's A. Yeah. So again, this is the basic. Hopefully we get 10 out of 10. Next question. So most current gene therapy trials target what? Is it SC, I don't think it's ID cystic. deficiency? I don't think it's cystic deficiency. Either. I don't think it's... CF is a good one. HIV is a good one. And cancer is a good one. I don't think but it's cystic I, fibrosis. Um, you know, as, as much as we work with, as much as we talked with Tracy Bonfield, uh, an unbelievable translational scientist at Case Western Reserve University, I don't think it's CF, but she does a lot of great work in CF, both drug delivery and gene editing. Um, HIV is tough. But I remember I would... the story of the first patient that was treated with gene therapy, a little girl. I think she had skid. So I don't oh, know really? if it's the most current. Yeah, it was a story about this girl who got it, first gene therapy ever, blah, 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 blah. And then she ended up growing up, and she's still alive till this day. And I think she had, I think it's severe My... combined deficiency disease, but that's not the yeah. most current. I, I want to say cancer, Heem. I really do. I'd be down for it because people do like cancer is such a broad term. Right. Because HIV. Uh, yeah, we can do cancer because. Let's try cancer. It's... Let's try cancer. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. I mean, I feel like cancer is so broad that yeah. a lot of people are trying to hit like the P53 gene and a lot of other genes that are like you know, oncogenes to like downregulate them in order to, you know, have tumor growth be lower. Do you question. think we could um actually zoom in a little bit? So yeah. from the top right. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You can zoom so out which a little vehicles bit. zoom out a little bit? You could zoom out a little. One second, of course. Hold on. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that. Why am I let me Zoom in. There we go. How's that? A little bit better? Yeah, that can, that can work. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the visuals, guys. Okay, question three. Which vehicles are often used for gene therapy to carry a healthy gene? Bacteria, plastic capsules, powder balls, or viruses? I think this one's pretty apparent. We've talked about these a lot on this channel. Heem, do you know the answer? viruses yeah viruses and viral ball. vectors <laughs> right that'd be interesting wouldn't it but um yeah i think like a good like question to throw us off would be like you know like lipids or yeah. um what are they called you know the balls you know what i'm talking about yeah lipid nanoparticles yes yes lipid nanoparticles all right number four 
gene therapy targeting the germ line is what? Ooh, this is a tough question. So if you were targeting basically a sperm or an egg, would that gene be heritable, non-heritable, sometimes heritable, or unrelatable to heritability? So it's not D. It's definitely going to be one of the two. Because if you implement something inside of the DNA, it's going to get passed down. It has to. So my gut goes with A, Heem. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So germline, like you said, is talking about egg and sperm, correct? Correct. Intuitively, it's I'm thinking it should, right? Yeah. But at the same time, it's, is it like encoded, hard, hard coded into the like DNA? So like my, my thing would be is we're talking about germline. So we're talking from generation zero to generation one. Okay. If you know you, you are, are prone or your child's prone to having Huntington's disease, right, which is carried on the Y chromosome, I believe. I believe it's on the Y chromosome. You would think that if you went in and you used gene therapy to fix that gene, that it would be heritable to your offspring in order to have, to like, not let them have Huntington's disease, right? So that's why people get screened. So I would think that it's heritable, Okay, but you, I agree with you from G, uh, Gen 0 to Gen 1, but what about Gen 2? Would they have the same yeah. gene therapy from Gen 0? Like, you know, you do, you insert DNA or any genes into a sperm and an egg. That, that exact offspring would, you would think, gets the, gets the gene therapy, but what about the one after? Well, I think, their I think if, I think. I think if it's heritable from zero to one, I think that the cells, like say that you are targeting sperm. I think that if you, if that sperm, you know, impregnates an egg or it gets into an egg and it passes on that DNA, it's like that egg and that sperm, the combined 46 chromosomes will have that gene. Does that make well, sense? Have it, yeah, but will that 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 would be spread across all forty six chromosomes, which are all. But I don't think well, I don't think it's gonna go. In, I don't think it can go anywhere. I think once you changed it in the germ line, it's gonna stay there through the offspring because you changed like you've gotten it at the beginning. If that makes sense. So then, would that offspring growing up have that DNA in their sperm and egg too? I think it would. I think it would because let's, say you had a boy. <laughs> yeah, let's take heritable. Let's do heritable. Okay. Correct. So let's we can go. read the first. So in the case of germline, sperm egg are modified by introduction of functional genes. Um, therefore, the change to therapy will be heritable and will be passed on later generations. Perfect. Right there. Awesome. Question yeah. number five. Which deficiency of the immune system was the first disorder researchers treated with gene therapy? Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, is it A? I think it's, I ADA? Feel like it's A. A rings a bell. I want to go Which with D, though. No, I want to go with D. They haven't been able to like do anything with sickle cell. It's still very What's prevalent. cool with sickle cell, though, what they do, you know what they do with sickle cell? Is they don't what? go in there and fix your hemoglobin because the just watching the problem with hemoglobin or with sickle cell anemia is that your hemoglobin has an issue with the um beta chain, I believe. There's two alpha and two beta chains, and it's not able to bind to oxygen, and it also makes it a sickle shape. And what they did, did is instead of giving people just like adult blood, they gave them fetal blood. So they use gene therapy to make him the shape of like fetal cells rather than adult cells. And I think it's that because they would take it out, spin it down, culture it or not culture it. They would, they would transfect it and then they would put it back in. It was almost like, I, I don't know why I want to say it was close to like a bone marrow transplant, but it kind of was because they, they didn't ablate the bone marrow, but they changed the bone marrow niche almost. I could be totally wrong, but I, that's why I go to sickle cell. If you want to go A, I'll go A. I don't think it's sickle cell. Which deficiency of the immune system? 
Because is sickle cell an immune system deficiency? It's it's hematopoietic. It's it's blood. Oh, okay, that's true. Which deficiency of the immune system was the first disorder? Du Duchenne C is not right. I don't think that's an immune I don't system. think it is either. Orthonine I don't think B is right. OTC is not right. OTC was nine was ninety nine. They actually killed Jesse Gausinger. I had to do a report on him last week for class, actually. So I don't. It's oh, not really? OTC. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. How about we do A? Just because okay. I have a better inkling for that one. If it's okay. D, I'm sorry. <laughs> A is correct. Let's go. A is Let's correct. Go. Beautiful heme. Yeah. Good. Yes. So the first approved gene therapy procedure was performed in a four-year-old patient born with a rare genetic disease. It's good. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. This was All right. Which the other question? Yes. Which part of the human body are bone marrow cells removed from to perform ex vivo skid gene therapy? This one's pretty straightforward. It's the hip bone, right? You take aspirations hip bone, from is the it hip. Not Is it not spinal cord? Well, Don't they do a spinal tap? Uh, uh spinal tap would be cerebral spinal fluid. Oh, hip bone. Okay. I know it's hip bone. That's where they take bone marrow aspirations from. Okay. Yeah, bone marrow is mainly found in flat bones, such as the hip bone, skull on ribs. I hate skull to do this, the... but like you see how it's cutting off a little. Can we zoom out just a tad bit? Absolutely. I'm so sorry. I noticed that too. Honestly, yeah, this is fine. It is okay. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. In gene therapy, in order to be successful, the healthy gene inserted into the target cell must take over and kill the defective gene, be inserted manually into the cell's mitochondria, become attached to the cell's mRNA molecules, or be able to make the correct amount of protein needed. I think this is D. Yeah, it's not a K. Opinion. A is mm -hmm. crazy. I've A never, is crazy. Like, that's that's wild. Maybe it's like um, out compete, but not kill and take yeah. over. Inserted there manually genes, into the cell's mitochondria. No, there are genes that can go in and complement your DNA, and then your body will read it as an error, and then it'll delete it. So maybe Absolutely. that's not what they're they're meaning. Maybe. But yeah, I think you're right. D is D is. Probably... I think D is right. Correct. Perfect. Oh. Next question. Next question. Sorry, I skipped that really fast. If you want to read, we'll put the link in the in the description. But if you want to read, read the um the reason why they're correct, you can pause. Okay. Question number eight. Which of the following is an example of a condition caused by a mutation in a single gene? Colon cancer, heart disease, AIDS, or cystic fibrosis? I'm what what do you think, Pete? Mutation in a single gene. Now, this is a question I have. When they say a single gene, does that mean a single like base pair or like a single mm -hmm. single, single base, base pair. pair? I don't know this one like at all. It's cystic it fibrosis. D? It's cystic D? fibrosis. Yeah, this it's literally one base pair change that causes the chlorine pumps on the cell surface to mess up, which causes a whole lot of mucus and no like. Because the ions are being pumped, they're not going to get any fluid. It's D. It seems like yep. it should be a pretty easy solve too. Then, um, it's cystic fibrosis. Like CF has, it's all of the complications that come after the like the gene therapy is is the tough part because CF patients suffer from a ton of side effects, and it went from like we had CF. F, uh, um, treatments keep people alive until they're like 15 to now they live until they're like 40 and now they're seeing actually different side effects from the gene therapy and from the treatments that they're used to and now they're trying to fix that which is really interesting okay when was the first gene therapy patient treat okay we might get this one wrong it's not 99 because otc was in 99 um I think it's like it's gonna be between A or B. He, and like just it's a toss up. I think, I think the lady right now is thirty five or something. I feel like eighty eight. I don't know why. Okay, 
No, 88. Eight we'll, we'll go with 88. We'll go with 88. Ah, uh, that's wrong. The correct 90. answer was 1990. Yeah. Okay, this was the year first approved gene therapy procedure was performed on a four-year-old girl. So it's the same person you're talking about. You just didn't have her age right. That's okay. That's okay. All right, last question. In which country was the first commercial gene therapy produced? Jendison registered for the treatment of head and neck carcinoma. Okay, I don't China, think it's going to be the U.S. It's going to be like, be yeah, it's gonna, I think it's China. I, I Are really we going with China? China? I do think so. All right, they're we very... we're on China. We get it correct. So yeah. in 2003, China's uh, Medicines Authority approved the cancer therapy. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so you know what? Nine out of 10, fairly good. Try to beat the score. We got one question wrong, and it was a date question. So I, I think we did okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and stop well, We did do the screen. basic. We did do the basic, just saying. Right, right. The intermediate will be really, really interesting. Um, but yeah, that was a good quiz. I think that was a good quiz. There were some good questions. Got us thinking, got us talking a little bit. So yeah, Heem, do you have anything else for this episode? Um, Not really. I think in the next couple episodes, we'll have some pretty interesting guests on. Maybe you guys will meet more people from our master's program that nick and i or i graduated from but nick is in right now so yeah we're gonna try to recruit some people and get some get some fresh thoughts on regenerative medicine entrepreneurship and kind of see you know it's always interesting to see when people start how they feel about it and what they want to do and i think it'll be really interesting to hear from them so all right well thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in just remember if you made it this far we appreciate you very much um, go ahead and like and subscribe. And yeah, this has been another episode of Sell to Sell. My name is Nick. That's Heem. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. See you.